Okay guys, so we have our fried chicken. Mm, that's so bomb. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a delicious fried chicken recipe. This is like a KFC dupe, their traditional recipe. I grew up eating this chicken, so guys, trust me when I tell you that it's gonna be absolutely delicious. It's gonna have a nice crisp on the outside. It's gonna be super juicy on the inside. I cannot wait to share this recipe with you, so let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the ingredients. Here we have our chicken thighs. So you could use chicken drumsticks, breasts, whatever you typically use. Uh, we're using thighs. Um, I've already washed them and pat dried them, so they are nice and dry. You don't want them wet because you want the coating to stick onto them, okay? So we have our chicken, two pounds is what we use here. Okay, so here we have a half cup of heavy cream and we have our little egg. Okay, so we're just going to mix this up and this is going to be like our buttermilk, what people use. This is just uh, heavy cream, egg, and what we're going to need is, we need a bag that holds about a gallon and I'm going to show you the next step right now. So throw in our heavy cream mixture. Now what we're going to do is toss in our Thighs. So just throw in your chicken, whatever you're using. Now we're going to make sure that our chicken is nicely coated. Now that it's fully coated, we're going to put it into the fridge and let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. And if you want to make this overnight, you can do that too. Okay, so let's go ahead and prepare our breading. It's one and a half cups of almond flour. Here we have a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we have one tablespoon of tapioca flour. This is half teaspoon of oregano, dried oregano. Half teaspoon of basil. This is half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And this is half tablespoon of paprika. Half teaspoon of garlic powder half teaspoon of white pepper, half teaspoon of our real salt, link is in the description below. And last but not least, we have some xanthan gum and this is half teaspoon. Now let's mix. And this is going to be our breading. Okay, so meanwhile, our chicken is in the fridge and that is setting. We are all done with this and we will move on to the next step as soon as our chicken is done. So let me know what your favorite side with fried chicken is because I absolutely love coleslaw, which I do have a link. It's a KFC dupe and I'll link it here for you guys, as well as potato salad. So if you have not tried it, you have to. It's a keto version and you guys are going to be obsessed. Okay, so now that our chicken has been sitting in the fridge for over an hour, we are going to move on to the next step. So you're just gonna like shake off the excess uh, liquid and then we're just gonna put it right into the breading. We're gonna put it onto the tray and we're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes before we fry it. So we're just gonna keep doing that with all of these. Shake off the excess, throw it into the mixture. I mean, yeah, into our breading. Flip it with some tongs or something because of course you will, if you use your same hand, you're just gonna get really messy. So once it's nicely coated, we put it onto our little baking sheet and let it rest for 30 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our frying. I'm using avocado because it has a smoking point of 500 degrees. So that's what I like to use, but you can use whichever oil you typically use. So we're just gonna fill it about halfway so that we're able to fry our chicken in here, okay? Okay, and you're just gonna put this in once, you're, once the oil is hot, you're gonna go ahead and place your chicken inside. 
We're gonna fry this for about six to eight minutes until it's nice and golden brown and the internal temperature is at about 165 degrees. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over and make sure that it's golden brown on both sides. Okay guys, so we have our fried chicken. I'm gonna make a little coleslaw on the side with a little potato salad. Um, they're both linked in the description below. They're amazing and you guys, if you haven't tried them, you just must. Um, what I'm gonna use for my dipping is a little bit of the sugar-free barbecue sauce. Um, I like the Sweet Baby Ray's, but I'm out right now. Um, Sweet Baby Ray's does make a little low-carb version now, a sugar-free version. So anyway, I'm just gonna do a little bit of barbecue. What dipping sauce do you like to use? Comment down below and let me know what your favorite dipping sauce is for chicken. Um, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of this Bolt House Ranch. I really like their dressings because they're really low in calories and they taste just as creamy. So like why, why not um, save on some of the calories? Um, you still wanna be, you know, like when you're living a low carb keto lifestyle or any lifestyle, if you're trying to lose weight, then you definitely still want to be mindful of your calories. Even though we're focusing more on carbs, you still wanna be mindful of your calories. So we have our, can you guys see that? I have my little dipping sauces, I have my chicken, and we are going to give it a try. So typically you would eat this with like a fork and knife, but we're just gonna be a little savage because you guys know how I do. And we're just gonna take a little bite. And let's see. Mm, mm. Wow. This tastes just like the original recipe from KFC. If you guys love KFC chicken, then you have to, have to, have to give this a try. I will make a crunchy version, a crunchier version, um, if you guys want it, but this is a traditional. It's crunchy enough. Mm. It's not gonna break your teeth. Mm. It's so perfect. The chicken is nice and moist and tender. The outside is nice and crispy. Mm. This is so delicious. You guys are going to be obsessed. Make this for dinner. For, I think that would be a perfect a perfect dinner. Your fried chicken, low carb mac and cheese. I have a recipe for that too. Link it below. A little salad or something. Mm. That'd be perfect. Nathi and Donnie are going to be obsessed in a little bit. This is what we're having for dinner. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. This reminds me of my childhood. I grew up eating KFC with mac and cheese and coleslaw. So that is what we will be having for dinner today. So I can't wait to see you guys make this. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. Make sure that you tag me on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on there. I share a lot more information on there about keto and just a glimpse into my everyday life. And of course here on YouTube, you guys are my YouTube fam and I hope you guys are following me on here and make sure that you do have your post notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me on this video. I can't wait for you guys to try it and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. All right guys, and I wanted to show you the air fryer version because this one was obviously not fried and it's still super, super delicious. I just wanted you to see the texture. I already gave it a taste test and it is really, really, really good. It's super moist inside, nice and it got a really nice crust on the outside. So if you guys have an air fryer and you're just trying to be a little more calorie conscious and you're not trying to have, you know, like fry fried chicken, this is a perfect option. You make the same exact recipe and just um, cook it in the air fryer. But if not, of course, the fried version is amazing as well. So it's totally up to you.